Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a transportation problem in Python using the pulp package. This is an integer linear programming problem. Um, and I'm going to start off by explaining what this problem is and I'll link the um, example below that I'm using. So basically um, it says Tropic Sun is a leading grower and distributor of fresh, fresh citrus products um, and they have three groves um, around central Florida. These are the groves and they have different amounts currently available at each grove um, and then there's all this, also these three processing plants um, and they have certain capacities that they can handle um, and then we also have um, it's important to note that each mile a bushel of fruit travels is known as a bushel mile and this table summarizes all these values um, um, oh no, this table um, is the distance in miles between the groves and the processing plants. So uh, over here is the groves and then the columns are the plants. Um, so we want to determine how many bushels to ship from each grove um, in order to minimize the total number of bushel miles. Um, so basically our decision variable um, you could say is going to have two subscripts because it's um, the amount from the grove to the plant so you could call it xij um, and then the solution is below and that's what we're trying to get so um, I already have these sets and dictionaries written out because I don't want to sit and type that all out but I'm going to go through and explain them all so these are the groves these are the plants those are just lists in Python these are our dictionaries so um, this is a max amount that can be shipped to each plant it's called M ship. This supply dictionary is the amount that each grove will supply. And then there's this dictionary um, for the distance between the groves. Um, this is actually just miles um, between the groves and the plants. And I started off by typing the grove and then listed out the plants with each distance. Um, so the first thing we want to do then after that is to set our problem variable. Which is going to be called prob equals lp problem function, and we want to call this the transportation problem, and it's an lp minimize problem. And then um, we also want to create this roots list. It's just going to um, give us basically a list of all different all the different possibilities of um, groves and plants. So like Mount Dora to Ocala, Mount Dora to um, Orlando and um, it's just gonna list all those out and the reason I'm doing this is because we can't use these strings as index values um, in our for loops and it's just gonna make things easier on us um, when we index this roots list rather than uh, these actual lists um, so we're just gonna say roots equals I comma J that's just what I'm gonna use as the letters um, for I in groves and for um, J in plants so it's gonna make um, a list of all of these different possible possible um, combinations um, and then the next thing we need to do is create our decision variable using our LP variable function um, so we're gonna say amount underscore bears equals LP variable dot DICTS since we are um, referring to a list and I'm gonna say that our decision that we're making is um, the amount to ship and because we already created this list here we're just gonna say groves comma plants um, we're not going to use for loops in this case um, and the next thing we're going to do, we need to create our objective function. So we want to sum over um, the amount from each grove to each plant that is decided by our solver. Um, and we're going to, since we already created this up here, we can just index it the same way we index dictionaries rather than what we've done in the past where we do the bracket i comma j um, and then do the two for loops we basically already did that up here so we're just going to say i comma j and index um, our roots list 
for i comma actually we need to multiply that um, so anyways we're summing up um, this amount times um, the distance for whatever that grove and plant is that we are um, indexing so we're gonna say bush i j once again and we're gonna say for i comma j in roots so then next we have our constraints that we need to satisfy so um, our first constraint is for all plants um, the amount that is chosen to uh, ship from that grove to that plant um, the total amount needs to be less than um, the max capacity that can be shipped to that plant um, or the max amount that can be shipped to that plant so let's say for um, all the plants for J and plants that's how you um, write it out you gotta assign this to our problem variable we are gonna sum over the amount for that plant um, and for all groves or for each of the groves um, and that needs to be less than or equal to m ship and that is index j um, since this list is our list of plants and we decided that j was going to be our index for plants so then our next uh, constraint is going to be for all of our groves we want to meet this amount that each grove can supply so for all groves we want to sum over our amounts ships to all of the plants amount underscore bears i j for j in plants and it might help to write this all out beforehand unfortunately this problem didn't have it already written out um, and we're going to index i because um, i was our index for our groves and this dictionary is including including our groves and this is an equals because we want to meet that supply um, and then finally we are going to solve this problem using our prob solve and we want to print the status lp status prob dot status um, and we want to print our variables so we're going to say for v and prob dot variables if this statement is satisfied or if this statement is true um, so if our variable value is greater than zero, then we would like to print that um, amount. So I, just for now, I'm only going to print uh, the variables that are greater than zero because I just want to know how much is being shipped. And we're just going to assume that all the other, we're just going to know that um, any va any value that's not print uh, printed, sorry, um, then no amount is going to be shipped from that grove to that plant for whatever that is. And finally, I want to print the total number of bushel miles, which is what we are minimizing. Um, and then if you had a flat rate um, for each bushel mile, you could figure out the cost from that. Um, but that problem, this problem didn't have that included. But I've seen this problem on a couple other pages and they included a cost so um, that's what this would basically be using for we're basically trying to find the lowest cost not really the lowest amount of um, miles bushel miles it's really to minimize the cost but um, it's the same thing so um, we didn't include that so let's see if this runs uh, it says plants is not defined. Oh, I guess I didn't capitalize that one little L. Um, 
Okay, here we go. So from Claremont to Orlando, we're going to ship this amount um, and so on. So it has each one listed and then it has our total number of bushel miles, which we are minimizing. And you can check this with this website. Um, they used Excel, it looks like. Um, so this is just another great way to solve this problem. And um, you can see here that it has, I think down here it has Mount Dora to Ocala. I really hope I'm saying that right. Um, and then Dora to Leesburg, all that, they're all the same. And then the um, this cell had the total number of bushel miles, which is the same as our answer. So um, that's how to solve a transportation problem in uh, Python. And they, of course, may vary from problem to problem the way you set this up. But um, this is a good general way to set up your transportation problem.